Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. Guys, you did it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yesterday was absolutely insane with the likes, with the comments, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are absolutely insane. I mean, I've never had that many likes on my video. Almost 500 likes. Um, creeping up to almost 600 to 700. Oh my goodness. I am just so happy and um, uh, surprised. <laughs> so please, guys, let's keep it up. Trying to get to 10K, and after 10K, we're going to 100K, guys. It's possible. We can do it. I need your help. If you've already subscribed, please leave two comments down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that red subscribe button. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get right into the VeChain news, guys. So, yesterday we burned about 5 million Vito. Today, we're burning a pretty decent amount. 8 million VTHO today, guys. So the main net is on fire. We really expect the main net activity to kick up as soon as VChain 2.0 is released. Uh, maybe a couple of weeks after that, once we get some major VTHO burn, once we get some decentralized applications on the main net, things are looking good, guys. Let's take a look at the price. And looking at the price here, guys, things are also looking good. Um, right now, we still are kind of at the mercy of Bitcoin and Ethereum, but they seem to be recovering from their dip. Um, and we just need to remain patient and remain vigilant. Um, you know, when we're going up a lot, we need to remain even keeled. And when we're going down a lot, we need to remain even keeled. Uh, but this chart does look pretty good, if I do say so myself. Um I'm a proud V-Chain holder, been holding for a while now, and uh, I don't plan on selling for a very, very long time, and I hope you guys are with me there. Now, financial advice, do what you want with your own money. Now, we're only up about 0.2% today, but that's not what we're here for, guys. I mean, if we take a look, when in doubt, zoom out, this chart looks amazing, guys. I mean, um... <laughs> This looks amazing. We are up almost, you know, 4,000% on the year here since the all time low. And, uh, you know, VeChain has so much more room to grow. It's not even funny. Um, I'm super excited for the future. And, uh, yeah, let's move on. All right. So we talked about VexChange a little bit yesterday. Um, but this is going to be big, guys. This is bringing. Um, v chain to the DeFi app ecosystem. Vex change is modified to become the foundation of DeFi on V chain and rival Ethereum's DeFi landscape. What's killing Ethereum right now? Well, there's a couple of things that's killing Ethereum right now. Their new Ethereum improvement proposal that you know certain miners are threatening to split the chain in half. Again, guys, this is. <laughs> You know, I'm going to I'm going to talk more about this in the Cardano update later. But, you know, when, when we have disagreements on, you know, basic protocols, basic protocol updates, such as upgrading the network to be more scalable. And it's a threat of splitting the chain in two and making a Ethereum classic classic. Uh, you know, you, you know, you got problems when, you know, just making a minor upgrade to Bitcoin to increase the block size creates Bitcoin cash and Bitcoin SV, you know, you have a problem. That's why two token models such as proof of stake and coins with good governance systems like Cardano uh, are the future because, you know, you can make those important uh, you can make those important system upgrades without splitting your community in two and creating like a Cardano classic. So that's going to be more for the Cardano updates, guys. Tune in for that. Guys, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave two comments down below for me. <laughs> this is the most engagement this channel has ever had, and I really, really love it. Now, the reason is for Vex Exchange version 2. Vex Exchange version 2. According to the developer in a blog post published on Medium, Vex Exchange was originally launched about 2.5 years ago. We know this, uh, but you know now the DeFi revolution is currently occurring and we do not want to be left behind guys i want to see liquidity mining on v chain i want to see yield farming on v chain i want to see uh multiple different decentralized exchanges on v chain the sky is the limit flash loans on v chain being able to provide 
uh, you know, loans to people across the country and get a decent interest rate on VeChain. There's so much stuff that we can do with this protocol. And the great thing about it is gas fees um, will be stable the entire time. And that's the whole purpose, guys. Right now, to do anything on Ethereum would cost you about 100, 200 bucks. I'm telling you, try it. I have, I've been out of DeFi for like three months because the gas fees are insanely high. And, uh, you know, with the Proof of Authority 2.0 um, and with the VeChain ecosystem as a whole, we can mitigate that and have a really robust NFT DeFi ecosystem. The initial expectation of creating VexChain is to give users the means to build decentralized apps on VeChain, which have the capability to rival Ethereum's DeFi landscape. But this is obviously not played out yet. We're still early in the um, still early in the game. Um, according to VeChain developer, VexChain v2 comes with features such as price oracles flash loans token to token pairs and will be integrated with sync 2 uh the update says vex change 2 will be coming with a governance token we talked about that yesterday i cannot wait to get more information on that that's definitely going to be a game changer now i got a lot of questions yesterday a lot of comments um i'm sorry i said i was going to answer every comment yesterday but they were just insanely a lot of comments <laughs> so i'll do my best guys to answer every comment again today but you know i get overwhelmed <laughs> after a while but uh Someone asked, you know, is it too late to invest in VeChain? Have we missed the boat? And I would say no, guys. I would say we have not missed the boat. And you know how I could tell we have not missed the boat? I want you guys to do this. When you're out at work, I don't know if you're listening to this in the morning or afternoon, but when you're out and about doing your daily routine or whatever, ask a friend or somebody that you trust, somebody that you talk to a lot, you know, just ask them, you know, hey, do you know what a VeChain is? And they're going to say, yeah, I have my keychain right here. What are you talking about? Did I lose my keys? <laughs> I'm telling you guys, no one, no one in the mainstream, quote unquote, still has any idea what a V chain is, what a Cardano is, what a XRP is. I bet go, go, please go ask somebody what a XRP is. I mean, 20 out of 100 people will know. So we're still so early, guys. Please do not think that you're late. Like this has nowhere near uh become uh, mass adopted yet and that's why i'm super happy and that's why i'm not stressed out about dips and you know other stuff i want to see adoption and and this vex change and the DeFi on uh v chain will definitely facilitate that in my humble opinion thank you to fatty bomba here this is please follow this person please follow this person they are the dutch v chain telegram administrator um they post fire almost daily lots of good news today with the v chain ama if you guys want to take a look at the recap of the sunny loot ama please watch the last video we did on v chain guys it's all broken down there meanwhile walmart is still adding new products to the v chain blockchain uh this is one of many real life solutions behind v chain thor and i would agree guys this is just one of the many use cases for v chain so they added some more stuff here and you know <laughs> haters and fudsters will say v chain is fake and they have fake partnerships they only have one partner and all this garbage but you know we're not listening to the fud guys you know if we would have listened to the fud six seven months ago we would be broke as hell take a look here guys we have these look like some leaks of some kind uh i don't know what those are that looks like some cup noodles we got some supplements, some blueberries here, some protein powder, some more supplements, and that looks like whale oil, whale fish oil here. Um, so yeah, guys, more and more products being added each and every day. And here are the links that you could take a look at and track and trace these things on the VeChain Thor blockchain, guys. This is what it's about, man. Knowing where your food comes from, knowing that your food is authenticated, and uh and and it says what they say it was guys remember we did a video um talking about no seafood and uh, if you didn't check that video out guys we did there was a great video on that this man said the ceo of no seafood said bruh <clears throat> 
From the time they catch the fish in the sea to the time you get it, it's been like 20 days and five processors have touched it. That's disgusting, man. What the heck is that? Like, we need to bring back trust. We need to bring back, uh, you know, uh, reliability to our food supply chains, not only to our food supply chains, but to our makeup supply chains, to our uh, consumer products supply chains, and to our medical supply chains, in my humble opinion. Thank you to Fatty Bamba for this wonderful news here. Uh, please keep it up. Please keep it up. We need to see this. We talked about this a couple of days ago, uh, but uh, this is pretty interesting, guys. So VHA partners with Chinese French cosmetic firm Yinzi. Um, it's a Sino French cosmetic brand. They will use the V chain blockchain to authentic to authenticate cosmetic items. The first product will be a lipstick equipped with the NFC smart tag access to store on the V chain Thor blockchain. So we're not going to go over the whole thing. We, we did. We watched a video on this, um, but the partners have set out to help build a vertical digital brand in China by empowering customers with a new product backed by blockchain technology. The VChain Foundation stated in its Twitter handle, at VChain we focus on leashing the power of blockchain in the real economy. Discover how Jinzi and the Chinese French cosmetic brand uses VChain blockchain to authenticate items and create a unique connection between owner, brand, and product. Um, the first product, which will launch at the first quarter of 2021 with a program on Chinese chat payment processing app WeChat, will be a lipstick equipped with the NFC smart tag that serves as an access gateway to the data stored on the VHA blockchain. Um, it was founded by Laurent Tinzi, a level C executive with a long career at global cosmetics leader L'Oreal. Uh, the company aims to change the rules of the industry and evolve consumer the consumer in the process. For this reason, Tenzi has chosen VeChain as one of the key partners to drive this change. And again, guys, this is what gets me up in the morning. This is what I do these videos for, not the price. The price is the last thing we take a look at. The price is the last thing we worry about because we know that if we get more and more startups, if we get more and more Fortune 500 companies, if we get more and more governments, if we get more and more hospitals on the VeChain Thor blockchain, that will drive value. And when you drive value and you get value to companies, and you get value to the people, you yourself become valuable. Think about Amazon, okay? 20 years ago, 30 years ago, no one gave a flying crap about Amazon except for the people that could see the vision of what they were trying to do. And it took a long road, 20 years, to become the empire that they, that they built today. And it was just one foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other, kicking foot in the teeth each and every day, continuing to be bullheaded and even keeled, no matter what the market or Fudsters or, you know, Bloomberg or anybody had to say, they continued to, to, to follow their mission, to follow their vision. And now, you know, they pretty much own the world and we will be now eating at Amazon restaurants <laughs> you know, if I want some soul food or some Mexican food, uh, we'll, we'll just go to the Amazon restaurant for that. <laughs> it's coming. Anyway, VeChain has a driver for change in the cosmetic industry. With contemporary design made from sustainable materials, Yenji's product will allow customers to choose their shades, skin tones, lip tones, color families, and other customized cos consumer features via WeChat. Using VeChain technology, the product will also be able to store consumers' life stories. So this is what we're talking about, guys. You know, um, they're, they're coming at this from a different angle, man. You can record a message, a meaningful message, memorable files, uh, photos. In the video, the gentleman posted his, girl, his uh, daughter singing. Um, the blockchain allows us to authenticate the date and ownership of the message encapsulated in this new object, and the value is what you put inside. So this is a different take. Uh, yes, it's pretty cool that you could pick your shades, your lip tones, your families and stuff, and, 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 and all that, but actually having a relationship with your makeup, like, like me, I'm a gamer, okay? I have a relationship, <laughs> wait, this is gonna sound weird. 
<laughs> Forgive me here, right? <laughs> this sounds a little bit weird, but I have a relationship with my gaming. You know, I I I, I want to know where each part of my PC comes from. I want to know, you know, the specs of the PC. I want to know the benchmarks. I want to know the story. How did I get it? You know, uh, uh, when 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 a profound game comes out, one of my favorite games <clears throat> would probably be the Soul series, Dark Souls. You know, what were they thinking? Get getting a deeper, uh, uh, a deeper understanding of what what I'm playing. And I guess we could we could, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking off the off the block here, but you know, maybe that's what they're trying to convey here you know we all know that ladies love sitting down putting on the makeup you know looking at themselves and and doing this why not tell a story about that why not capture a moment and uh connect it with your lipstick connect it with your makeup um i think it's definitely interesting and i can't wait to see how this blossoms thank you for all the ladies that commented down below with your opinions on this, please let me know more. Um, because makeup and traceability is definitely going to be something for the future, I believe. Um, so yeah, moving on. <laughs> Thank you to Vito is undervalued. I thought I was, I thought I was uh, following you, brother. I apologize. You have been followed. And Sonny here, during the AMA, he said, I am not talking about the price of Vito should be low. Transaction cost should be low. And I would agree with that. All right, guys. So someone posted a comment yesterday saying that Sonny Lou said that Vito won't get past three cents. I don't think that's the case, guys. I just think that, you know, we want to keep transaction costs stable so that if we do have a spike, let's just say DeFi comes out and, you know, VeChain creates something like Pancake Swap on the VeChain Thor blockchain and we get a flood of people coming in, you know, using Pancake Swap, using VeChain Swap and the, gas, and the network usage is really, really, really high. We will still be able to keep the transaction fees relatively stable due to the two token model because we're not paying transaction fees in vchain we're paying transaction fees in vtho all right so uh the reason why ethereum is going absolutely ham right now with uh you know their DeFi protocol is because every transaction is paid in ether thus driving up the gas prices insanely now can we have a 30 cent vtho absolutely but still, the veto, <laughs> the the transaction costs will still be stable, and we won't be prone to extreme spikes. And the reason why that's good too is because we have a lot of Fortune 500 companies hopping on the blockchain, guys. We can't afford to have you know spikes, 300 GUE transaction fees because no enterprise would want to work with us. You know, if they have to spend that much in order to access the blockchain, so. Vito is definitely has a bullish case for it, guys. I did a whole breakdown on if you if you should buy Vito yesterday. The math was a little bit off. <laughs> I apologize about that, but you know it is what it is. If I were you and you wanted to purchase Vito, I'd wait a couple of weeks until the Vito price kind of stables out a little bit. It'll probably get under a penny, and then I'd buy a huge swath of it. I'm talking about. You know, if you could afford to buy billions of Etho, uh, that's something that I would uh, highly recommend you do. And the reason why is because, um, you know, you're probably going to be holding it for a while. And when it pops off, you're going to want to actually, you know, make a pretty chunk of change when it does actually pop off. So that's just my humble opinion on Vito. Um, I'll probably do another video on that on just strictly Vito in the future um, because that's definitely something that we need to take a look at. And finally, shout out to Boosted Yoda here. Please go ahead and give this person a follow. The VCHA Foundation said from day one 
the growth of the phase of this project is from 2022 to 2025. This timeline was released a few years ago. I could not find where the heck that said that at, but I did see that before. Long story short, it hasn't even started yet, guys. It takes years to get clients ready on board and to start building business value. And that's why I said earlier, guys, it is not too late. Seriously, go ask anybody what a V-chain is, bro. They're going to look at you like you have a tumor on your head. Ain't nobody going to know what the heck you're talking about yet, but they will. All right. So they lose vision is to everybody use V-chain and not even know it, except for the lucky ones that got in. All right. I, I find myself extremely lucky right now. Um, of course, anything could happen. The markets could turn on a dime at any moment. But I, I'm proud to have be to be a part of this community. I'm proud to, you know, talk to you guys each and every day. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for me. And uh, yeah, we're going to do this to the wheels caught fall off, baby. We go do this to the wheels fall off. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. We're going to wrap things up here soon. Please, if you have not, hit that subscribe button. Do it. And if you have hit that subscribe button, leave two, three comments down below, guys. It's been absolutely crazy. I really appreciate each and every one of you. It's been insane. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen that many likes on a video. Uh, if we can get to 500 likes again, that would be great. <laughs> that would be freaking amazing. Let's see if we can do it. Thank you to our wonderful Patreon subscribers. AJ, Brett, Garlic House, Matt Harris, Sergio, Lassie, Nielsen, The Fern Line, Jeffrey, Ethan, AmericanHomeRemedies.com. Maryland for Crypto Boost, Wayne, Fruz Den, Brady Adams, Joe Menes, Kyle Blatcher, Crypto SVT.SI, Eric Parra, Ed D, The Voice, For The People, HBD, South Bay.com, Daniel A, Crypto Chemtrails, Climax ZH, Angela Schroyer, and Craig Wadding. Thank you so much, everybody, for your wonderful Patreon support. I love you guys. I can't wait to see where VeChain is going to be in the next 8 to 10 years. We have 1,145 days to the next Bitcoin block having, and let's go ahead and give this bad boy a refresh here. Taking a look at the markets here, profit taking is still occurring. We got a big, huge, urgent Cardano update coming in a few as well, but it looks like there's some more profit taking occurring. I do not expect this profit taking to continue to happen. Um, I do expect Bitcoin to get above 60,000 on its way to 70 and the markets as a whole grow. Um, I don't see why there would be any reversal of the markets um yeah i don't i don't see why there would be any reversal but basic attention token guys holy smokers it ain't no jokers up 44 percent at the price of a dollar and 20 cents per token guys i remember where you could buy a basic attention token for 16 cents back in the day I had a lot of basic attention token on my desktop and my desktop got reset multiple times. I must have had like a thousand freaking bat and I don't have a thousand freaking bat anymore. So <laughs> that's the way it is. But hey, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Filecoin is up. Cardano's up. It's going to probably keep pumping. Zilliqa, Neo, ZK Swap. Swiss Borg, but nothing else really of note, guys. I'm going to stop blabbering here. I love each and every one of you. Don't let your memes be dreams. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I love you guys, and I will talk to you during the Cardano updates. Goodbye.